Hello, this is Oklahoma Cannabis Business Attorney Jesse Kovach with the OK Cannabis Law Office. Today we're going to be talking about testing for residual solvents. So residual solvents are some of those things you have to test every production batch for. There are certain um, residual solvents that have to be uh, come under uh, the allowable thresholds. And those thresholds are as follows. So you have one, you have acetone, needs to be less than 1,000 parts per million. Benzene needs to be less than two parts per million. Butane needs to be less than 1,000 parts per million. Ethanol needs to be less than 5,000 parts per million. Ethyl acetate needs to be less than 1,000 parts per million. Heptane needs to be less than 1,000 parts per million. Hexane needs to be less than 60 parts per million. Methanol needs to be less than 600 parts per million. Pentane and prote propane both need to be less than 1,000 parts per million. Isopropyl alcohol needs to be less than 1,000 parts per million. Toluene needs to be less than 180 parts per million. And finally, the total xylenes needs to be less than, I'm sorry, that's xylenes with an X, needs to be less than 430 parts per million. Now, if this information was helpful to you and you want to find more like it, you can find more on our website, oklahomamedicalmarijuana.attorney.